When you are dealing with rather oddball devices, be it something like a Galaxy Z Fold or perhaps a Microsoft Surface Duo input, is really really important right so your your keyboard is a thing you interact with all the time when you have an odd device like this that might be changing size changing shape or being used in different postures that keyboard kind of needs to move along with that change now on the z fold up until now, I believe the Samsung keyboard had some stuff built in. But a lot of people don't love the Samsung keyboard. I'm one of those people. I go straight to Gboard on Surface Duo Swift Key. Also has some interesting features. But again, I like Gboard. Well, good news for those of us who are Gboard users who prefer the autocorrection on Gboard, the swipe typing on Gboard. Because today, if you are in the beta for this app in the Google Play Store, you are going to be getting thumb type and a split keyboard on appropriate devices. So let's very quickly take a look at how to get into this beta, and then let's talk about what it actually looks like and how it compares to the keyboards we already had. So in order to join this beta, it's actually very, very simple. On your smartphone of choice, in this case, it is a Surface Duo 2. You're simply gonna open up the Play Store, you're going to search for Gboard, and not just install it, you actually have to scroll down to where it says something about being a beta tester, and there's a button there to click Join. It's gonna take a little bit of time if you've already got the keyboard installed. Let it sit for a minute. In my instance, it only took like two or three minutes. And then I came back to the Play Store and I had an option to update. I ran the update and pretty much there you go. So now that that's done, let's do a quick compare and contrast here on Surface Duo 2. So by default, you're gonna be using the Swift Key keyboard. And like I said, it's got some advantages here. So let's open up something where we're going to be typing. And you can see that on this keyboard, there's some empty space on the left-hand side. And there's a reason for that. It's because the keyboard is on the left screen. I can demonstrate why that makes sense. If you are in this position and you are typing, because there's some empty space there, it makes it so that thumb typing is going to be just a little bit easier. And you can actually adjust how big that space is there. And the reason is obvious, because you can't thumb type like this because it's on one screen, right? And if I bring up the keyboard over here, same thing is gonna happen on the other side. You're gonna get that gap. It's gonna slide over just a little bit in order to make typing uh, a little bit easier. But now, I'm sure you can imagine other ways to use a device like Surface Duo 2. There's one really obvious one that I don't use very often, but it's there. You know, you can actually rotate this device and use it in what they call compose mode. And in compose mode, Swift Key would already give us a split keyboard, a split down the middle, because reaching all the way into the middle is a little bit difficult, so they kind of move things around to give us a really nice thumb typing experience. And until very recently, if I were to switch to Gboard, I would not get a similar experience. But now, if you look at that there, I do in fact get a really nice thumb typing experience. The gap is actually quite large, and that's gonna make thumb typing really, really nice and easy. And then if I rotate back around here and go to type, you will see that I'm going to lose you know the fact that it shifts over to the left or to the right to make typing easier like it does in SwiftKey but we do have at least a step in the right direction there do I think that you know Google is going to add in the keyboard shifting over like SwiftKey does no they're not going to do that they're not going to directly support duo but the thumb typing thing is really really nice to have and it does in fact work very similarly on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold line. If I open up a text field here, you can see exactly what this looks like. And it's, like I said, it's really nice. It's got that gap in the middle. And you can quickly toggle between normal and uh, that split style keyboard if you want. You can also open up a floating keyboard if that does happen to be your style. It's nice and easy to move back and forth between them. Let's rotate this thing around because I think that that's where it's really gonna be useful. I like using my fold in this orientation and that's gonna make typing so much easier than it was before. I think this is a really nice update and it shows Google's continued support of oddball devices, larger screen devices, foldables, tablets, so forth and so on. Really, really good to see. Let me know if you're gonna switch to Gboard, if that's something you've been waiting for, waiting to see. Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.